What's going on, you guys? It's the Lord Ad here and King David coming at you. This is our first spoiler cast like this. You know, these are going to be a new type of program that we put in the members and, and Patreon where me and King are just going to, you know, give our in-depth conversation when it comes to video games. Uh, we're going to have one for Spider-Man. I believe our next one's going to be Mario Wonders. I'm not quite sure yet, but I've been playing yeah. through that. And so is King. Uh, you know, I've been told that it's got co-op. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so we'll, we'll go into that. But <laughs> today is about Spider-Man 2. You know, this has been a highly anticipated PlayStation exclusive. And uh, me and King have both beat it. He is 100 percent in it. I don't Plat do that. What what they do? They they call that platinum did. Yeah, I don't do that. All right. Uh, that that I, I I am not people's errand boys. And if PlayStation wants King to be an errand boy, King can be an errand boy. Well, well uh, listen. Let me tell you something. I'm not even gonna front. Um, for those Spider Man games, I'm all about that. Like getting those suits and that stuff like that. And I like the missions. I like the stuff. Um, I you know what's crazy. This is the only type of games that I do that with. I don't do that with um, Ragnarok. I didn't do it with God of War, uh, but the Spider-Man games, all of them, I've done the same exact same exact thing. Yeah, see, I, I'm more of a, I gotta either enjoy it or they gotta tell me why I'm gonna get up front. You I know, you. And, and the suits don't do that for me. It's like you know, you you're more of a comic book head. I'm not there, so. They don't really grab me with that. They're like, yo, we give you these suits. I'm cool with the original. I don't care. And <laughs> That's then, disgusting. It, and then especially <laughs> after I got the Venom suit, the anti-Venom suit. I oh, the white like, one? This one looks, this looks fly. You ain't gonna yeah. get me to get nothing else. <laughs> like, I, I, I love how, like, when you look at the, the suit, like when there's nothing around us, I, I like to stand there and look at the suits and you see the suit moving um and the the multi-layer and the multi-dimensions and the textures it looks really good it looks like how i thought the comic books it, uh, coming to life would look and and they did a real good job I, I love what sucker punch has done so you know normally we talk about story first because i feel like story in a regular review is the thing you can't expand on the most but right. this is a spoiler cast. We could talk about that. We can break it down, spoil the hell out of that. So I want to say that for a little bit towards the end of the show. This is going to be like a 30, 45 minute show. Uh, so what I want to talk about is the atmosphere of the game, King. You know, did you feel like they did a better job building uh, New York? I'm not the biggest familiar person with New York. The entire area, New Jersey's New York to me. New York is New York to me. Everything is New York to me. There's no, there's no New Jersey, New York. Does this separate it? Everything is New York to me. I don't know what's in this game and what's not in this game. Everything is New York to me. Like, All right. So to to you, uh, you 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 playing the game, you wouldn't know if something's out of place. You wouldn't know if um they did they was inaccurate with some of the landmarks. Uh, for the most part, since 2018, they've captured all the landmarks they've captured all the streets they have the map of new york city so it's very hard to uh, mess up the map of new york city and in this day and age we have google maps so they uh, they pretty much have the the map what, of new york city down pat what is that bottom right because if my correct that wasn't in the original 2018 no you're talking about queens yeah so that was queens they put all yeah that's do they put you're... all of queens in here or is it no just like... no queens is way bigger than that is they you know they didn't put all of brooklyn they put parts of queens or parts of brooklyn is that new content yes all right so how do you feel like they you know obviously they can't make this how it would actually be there's way more people in new york than they can realistically fit on the screen how did right. you feel like they captured new york in general? the density yeah the density of new york city is there like e even with the people um new york city streets aren't really super populated unless you're like going to the bronx or um something like that in the outskirts uh it's um it was very densely populated as far as, as for what the game can give you, because you're asking the game to give you ray tracing, you're asking the game to give you all types of things, uh, from the the skyscrapers to how tall they are to how uh, tightly packed the city is, 
I, th- I thought they did a fantastic job in capturing the atmosphere of New York City, the hustle and bustle. You hear the sounds, you see the pigeons, you see people moving. If they're walking, they're on bikes, they're in cars. You had different levels of cars. You had uh, trucks, you, you had regular vehicles, you had construction workers on some parts. The, so the game did capture the atmosphere of New York City, and they've set that tone since uh 2018 so i didn't i didn't think that they would mess that here okay see the reason i'm asking you is because i don't know uh you know like i said everything in there's new york to me everything uh so i wanted you know for our viewers especially people like me that's not in that uh that's not in that area i wanted like you know did they genuinely capture the feel of new york Right, right. Yeah, they did. They, without a doubt. Definitely 100%. So the combat in this game changed a little bit from 2018. Uh, they kind of went... I, I feel like they've, they've centered 2018 around the gadgets. Like a lot of the game was centered around gadgets, centered around, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the dodging button. Uh, they right. did add a, a parry system on here, and they stripped away a lot of the gadgets, so I want your opinion on that. And they replace them with, you know, combo attacks where it's like, you know, you use the metal suit that's that the skeleton thing, whatever that thing's called for Spider-Man. Spider legs. Yeah, spider legs. And Miles has not only Venom abilities, but electric abilities as well. I don't know if they're considered the same thing. They're the same thing. Yeah, but they look like they look different colors. So I felt like they were, you know, maybe more a more potent Venom with the electric attacks, but they did look different to me. So maybe you can explain that as well. So well, the things that yeah. I would like from you is how did you feel about taking the gadgets on and the changes they made to to Miles and uh, Peter when it comes to that particular point? Well, the combat is a natural evolution from 2018. So 2018 was a trial and error type of thing. And they tried to use a lot of whatever, you know, um, Spider-Man <laughs> gadgets he does have. So they try to use that and the Miles Morales game, uh, his Venom abilities, they, I think the color palette in the Miles Morales game was a, a little bit different only because they wanted to show the richness and the texture of that world. So if, if you go back to the Miles Morales game, the purples really pop more. The colors really pop in that game more so than they do in a Spider-Man game. The Spider-Man game was a little bit muted uh, when it came to the colors. Miles Morales' colors was off the charts to me, and it still is. I'm going to probably go back and check that today. Um, and then they tried to meld the two here. So what you did get with... Um, they toned down how Miles's uh, electricity look by giving it a natural base color, uh, because I, I don't think that that color would be would work well without with how much activity is on the screen. So they had to do the change the color there. Uh, the combo system that they use between each other is fantastic. What I did notice is between both characters, Miles is faster. Miles yeah, is faster. Yeah, more explosive than Peter is. I feel like Miles is more diverse, uh, more versatile as well. Yeah. Like, you know, for the most part, like until you get the Venom suit, I felt like Peter was kind of o- underwhelming. Like he, yeah, he, yeah he, he felt that way. And I felt like the skeleton, the spider skeleton, that didn't do nothing for me. Like once, the... once, once you got the Venom suit and you was using the Venom abilities like that, those legs could go somewhere. <laughs> like, oh, so you talk about it? Oh, okay, the spider legs. All right, so that was to give him the a little bit of diversity, right? Because they wanted to build you up to Spider Man. If 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 you notice throughout the game, before he even got to the Venom symbiote suit, he was handling issues a little bit more strenuous than Miles would. Miles would had handle issues with a little bit more vigor. He can take out uh, teams of people a little bit more faster. Uh, S- Spider Man himself, Peter himself, had issues until he got the Venom suit, and that's why he felt that it it made him a better uh, a Spider Man. But also his move set expanded. When you went down to his move set after he got that set uh, that suit, his move set opened up, and I think they purposely limited him early on in the game. Uh, to show you when you got the, the the symbiote suit, 
how more powerful so, he was. Kind of like to show why he kind of like obviously, you know, we'll get more into the personality changes that happened right. when the symbiote took over Peter. Uh, but it, it to show you more of that evolution. It's like, you know, because if anything, you know, I'm I'm looking um I'm playing Persona 4 right now. I just right. beat five. And the way they get their persona is they like pretty much they they accept the 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 thoughts in their head that they don't want to accept. Like right. they jealousy, and you know, okay, you, you love your friend, but at the same time you're jealous of them. They have to accept that to get that power. So like to me, like Peter is he's sure of himself, but in the back of his mind he's he he's unsure and he's like look i'm doing all these things and i'm doubting myself too much but i'm not i'm not talking about it a lot and then uh, to me when the symptio took over those those opinions were harder to conceal and he said them more yeah well the thing about it is uh in the combi comic book P spider-man's base uh power set is 10 tons he can lift 10 tons right so when he got the symbiote suit he was able to lift 25 tons right so that's a drastic uh improvement to his it's, base power level over double yeah so his base oh he's way stronger does, then he became faster so in com comic book wise does he ever get to that point again without the suit or is it just no like, no the, the okay. suit augments him the suit the suit that's that's why the, the suit was so important to him early on and the suit lasted with him for a long time the suit lasted with him for like uh four years four or five years uh um, oh in the comics yeah in the comics he had books. that he had that black suit that long yeah he had, he had the suit for a while yeah so um and because they was doing a story arc the story arc was longer than what the the game is. The game is can't stretch, you know, uh, multiple video games uh, to tell the story arc. So they told the story arc in a condensed uh, form. But uh, as far as what it did to him, it enhanced him in every way. His spider sense was faster. His reaction times was faster. He was running on pure adrenaline. What the symbiote did was link into his neurological system and his adrenaline and allowed him to pump full adrenaline at all times. So that's why he was so tired and so sleepy because he will burn his adrenaline 100%. So, so pretty much the symbiote doesn't make you stronger naturally. It just makes you tap into your entire body infrastructure to be stronger. Correct? Well, it does, but it also makes you stronger. Okay. You see, because the symbiote it naturally itself is a stronger entity than um, Parker by himself. Because when uh, the, uh, any symbiote attaches itself to a normal human, it takes on, and I'll explain why, of uh, when it became Venom, it still had the Spider-Man-like properties, right? Uh, because that it, it, it copied and mimicked that, and it became part of its DNA. So that's why some of the stuff that they were talking about inside the game held true throughout. So that's why I, I liked what the the game was talking about. So yeah, the, the the symbiote itself is a stronger entity than an average human. So the fact that it latched itself onto Peter because it found Peter more alluring because he was stronger than the average human that it came in contact with. So after it found that, and then it found that the level of adrenaline oh. it was able to push, push it, it it was it wanted to bond and stay with him I, because it found him as a better host. I, I get what you're saying, like you know, in, in the in the game, it it latches onto Harry first, but he's just a regular, actually crippled human before right. he latched onto. Him. But not only is he going on to a healthy person, he's also going on to someone that has been genetically enhanced by a spider bite. And, right. And when, when you pump an adrenaline through his body, his body can handle it. Right. And then he's at peak physical form. He's at absolute peak physical form. Spider-Man and Captain America are peak physical humans. And same thing with Black Panther. Okay. Okay. I was very interested on that. You know, I I personally feel like, you know, the world was very livid. It was very live. I, right. I, I felt like the activities was okay. Now, I know you did all of them. I, I did all some of them. Of them. 
Yeah. I, I, I like the, the uh, Mysterio one. I don't it know was if, fun. Was there a fight with Mysterio? Yes. So okay, I completed so- all of it, and you get to the last uh, chapter of it, and then you find out that it really wasn't Mysterio himself. It was his his uh, cohorts, his uh, employees. That th- those people that you think, those two girls that you think that is his employees, mm-hmm. they're not his employees. Actually, they hijacked his tech and put all these bugs inside his tech, and lock Mysterio up in a closet and it, it, it was kind of crazy and they used his persona inside uh the mysteriums that's across uh the board and you i think it's like eight to ten of them that you got to do but they're really cool and some of them have different objectives for you to to complete them like knock people off the ledge or only score finishing moves stuff like that or yank people to you it, it's it's really cool See, i enjoy the combat but not enough to do stuff like that you know what i'm I feel saying you. It was just like it was a cool combat, but to me, it didn't really like. I personally like the Arkham combats better. I I think those more they feel they feel better. They feel like I'm actually hitting stuff. Like sometimes I felt like Spider Man is way stronger than Batman, but he ain't putting the output that I felt when I was Batman in Arkham. Like when I hit someone in Arkham. I feel like I hit that person. Like, I feel well, like they did the, damage. <laughs> the visceral nature of Batman is it's more bone breaking, more up close, more visceral combat. Spider-Man is, remember, you also got to remember, this he is Disney. Back. He holds back. Yeah, yeah. He, he's holding back. He's fighting regular if street he, thugs. If, if he hit a street thug, his full strength, he would punch them across, like, Well, the they, 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 they said that inside the game. Remember when he was fighting Venom, he said, I don't have to hold back. Oh, no. Matter of fact, it wasn't Venom. It was robots. When he started fighting the robots, he said, good, I can let go and use all my power. So that's 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 the nature of Spider-Man. He's always holding back. Okay. And that was my uh, opinion on on that matter. I I think the I, I like the side activities that lead up to like a last chapter thing. I did right. the flame because I was told the flame had like some really good stuff on there. Um, also, then you did you you teamed up with Wraith. Yeah. You saw her again. Uh, that's an interesting character that they put in there. So you got the Wraith costume, right? Yeah. All right. So see, that's what I'm talking about. If you did the Mysteriums, you would have got the Mysterio costume. The Mysterio costume looked crazy dope. Uh, it's just the it, costumes didn't do nothing. Like I don't think I literally unlocked any of them. Like well, you like, know, 2018 my, costumes did stuff. Yeah, yeah, they they did extra stuff, but they for some reason they took all that out. I don't know why they did that. Uh, maybe it was just adding on to the development cycle. Maybe it was just hard to balance all those suits. That's um, what it is. The balance. Was there more suits in this one than there was in twenty eighteen? Or was about? I same? have to go back and check. Um, I didn't like the fact that I had to pay for these suits because if I didn't get the premium, the premium one has at least and eight like four suits at the bottom. Four. Five, no, four. it's eight. It's like eight of them. Oh. Uh, Okay. Yeah, so um, I didn't use any of them. That's why I didn't. I use all of them. I used to. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's I, one of them. I, the only time my costume changed is when my costume changed in the story. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I hate it when they force me to use the van suit. I did change Miles's with like his hair showing. I didn't yeah. like the look of that one for some reason. I went back to his old costume because I thought it was that, cheesy. Yeah, I thought that one looked better in general. Yeah. Uh, so, all right, let's let, 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 let's talk about the so i'm looking for the atmosphere changing uh once venom is introduced into the game he kind of changes the entire game i'm gonna be real with you king i didn't know venom was like this i didn't know he rolled like this i've only seen venom in the spider-man tv shows here and there and i didn't really watch those like crazy like i thought he was just a like a symbiote thing that latches on to people I didn't know he could do the things that's in this game. Okay, like, it blew my mind. I, like maybe you can like clarify. I'm going. I'm going. But I'm when going I saw to. this stuff, I was like, "Oh, th- this is different, Venom. I ain't never seen this Venom." Like, uh, all right. So what they did was they read all the books and they took all of them and and made a cohesive story that made sense, right? So they took Maximum um, Venom. They took the Maximum Carnage storyline. They took the Symbiotes storyline. They took the Null storyline. 
and they wove all of them together. So that meteorite that's there, that meteorite is true, but it comes from his planet where there's a planet of venoms. And what happened is, no, he is uh, the first symbiote, and he has a symbiote uh, sword. He is like the Omega, and they're all linked to him. Venom is a rogue that is a st- broke away from the hive mind. So, and you real, got real quick, like I did a little research in, in the past on this individual you're talking about with the sword. He's right. one of the strongest people in MCU, correct? Yes, yes, okay, okay yes, okay. So, and Eddie Brock kills him. All right, so uh, it, it gets to a point where that storyline comes to a close. But you saw that storyline being here because what what the symbiotes do, they're kind of like aliens from the movie Aliens. Uh They go to planets and they take over and all that goo and stuff that you do see actually starts to take uh, fester all over the place. They did this at an accelerated rate. Venom is not able to do that in his base form, the same form that you saw. That's the- why it was tripping like me that. out because I've never right. seen him do stuff like that. Now, I would assume the the leader of all the symbiotes, he could do that kind of stuff. But they made Venom that in this game. Okay. You see, that's why he was able to make Scream, uh, make uh, <coughs> Carnage, make... Um, was Carnage the- in this game? Well, I'm explaining that too. Oh, okay. when, did you finish the Flames uh, side storyline? I did the majority of it. I don't think I. All right, it. so you got to finish it. When you finish it, is a reason why Flame is um, doing all the stuff that he does because there's an end game to it, and he gets to his end game. And this is a spoiler cast. He gets to a piece of the 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 symbiote because the symbiote came and it broke it off into a couple of pieces, and. Oscorp still had that one piece there. They hijacked the train and got it. Flames, one of his aliases is Cletus Cassidy. Cletus Cassidy is um is whatchamacallit, is uh Carnage in, in the comic books, right? It's a totally different character. They melded the two characters because that character, uh Flame, is disillusional, cult-like environment. And he's able to kill without remorse. And he was trying to, he set Spider-Man on fire. Oh my it's, God. Yeah, yeah. Like he poured gasoline all over his body and set him on fire. Uh, the game shows different aspects and they left no stone unturned when it came to story. They gave you every storyline in Venom's history all in this think- one game. Do you think that was a mistake? Maybe they should have like stuck to the origins of Venom and then expand it going forward, maybe in a DLC. Cause to no. me, I don't know. I, I didn't do the entire flame thing, but to me, they kind of like killed this whole aspect that they could have tapped into in the future. Or do no. you think they'll go back to it? No, the thing is when they did the DLC in Spider-Man 2018 and they had the black cat stuff and they had tombstone stuff, Tombstone is here in this game. And yeah, they I even saw. expounded on that, on, on the Tombstone stuff, and, and showed that he didn't go back to a life of crime because, you know, his Spider-Man sent him and he, he was rehabilitated. This is an older Peter. So I don't think the way that they're killing off characters and, you know, they killed off uh, Vulture. They, they killed them off like crazy. But And this is what I, I saw people complaining about. Oh, they, they're killing off the characters. They won't build the world because everybody's expecting them to build this world where where the enemies keep coming back and Spider-Man no, no. keeps uh, fighting them. In the real world, characters die. Yeah. They, they, yeah, they're just telling a story arc. And I feel like if they are building, like, a universe in, the, in, in PlayStation, what comes to MCU, like, they're not going to just fight spider-man villains like right uh, they're gonna fight everybody else wolverine if he comes in because they've already confirmed they're part of the same universe you you didn't see the wolverine suit in miles morales no i saw he has a i saw he has a wolverine suit one the white uh the white ranger one that was no but he has different colors he has the green one he has all all of them he has the japanese power ranger one because when you get out the when you get the dlc i mean the um the 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 what is that the extended copy or whatever the, the deluxe copy he has that one he has the the japanese 
uh, Power Ranger suit, and then you get out the American Power Ranger suit when you unlock it. That's interesting. That's interesting. All right, let's let's get let's get to the meat potatoes, man. All the right. story of Spider Man Two. You know, I, I think we can. Did you expect Venom to be the last boss, or did you think they would throw you a couple curveballs, or did you they think that did. maybe you would team up with Venom to fight something, or because I know no. in, in the past like spider-man and venom have teamed up multiple times like your let me get give me what you kind of expected them to go in this direction and then we'll talk about the actual story that spider-man turned out to be i knew venom at the end of the day would be his ultimate uh enemy i i i know that from the books so for them to waste that opportunity on having them team up which they did to some extent, and I and I'll expound on that when we go to uh when you want to get to that part. But um they did to some extent, but no, nah, my expectations of it, it it played out how I expected it to play out. Yeah, um that's that's pretty much how I expected it. What what I will say is I was really feeling the different tone change of Peter when he had that suit on. Like like I, I liked I liked the the Mary Jane fight when she became Scream and right. she was sitting there and she she was talking all this. First off, I I didn't like how I I did feel like they were they were like taking a lot of the shine away from 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 uh from Peter. It's like even when they were arguing back and forth between Scream and Peter, it's just like you're literally complaining about stuff that he has no control over. That's you. Oh, and then he can't hold a job. Yeah. And that, yeah, the, the mortgage is due and that all this other stuff. Yeah. And yeah. So, and what's funny is at the beginning, she offered to pay the mortgage and he said, I won't take your money. So you're not paying the mortgage. What are you bitching about? Like, well, <laughs> it, it, that was in the thoughts of, how to get under his skin so i understood that fight that fight was really good and you know peter stayed you know true uh because you know he loves her um it, w- it was really interesting dialogue though like it, it, it so you do know that cletus carnage made them no i didn't know that yeah carnage made them those those symbiotes scream and all that other and, stuff and, and, and the comic to books. my knowledge the parents and the offspring hate each other every time. Yes. So like carnage came from venom and he hates uh, and, venom. And, and so that means does venom work with scream? Can, can, uh, can, can, it, it, is it was that stupid. same hatred towards later ends of the symbiote no. or is it just the father and the, uh, and the it's offspring? just the, the parent and the kid, which is, is hilarious. It's hilarious. Yeah, so that that was my biggest thing. I didn't know who Scream was. I'm gonna be real with you. There was multiple times in this, sh- in but this you movie. knew she was different. Yes, when you saw her compared, a, she had a to the other bar. one. She had a health right. bar. That's one biggest giveaway. And two, she didn't look. She had long hair. Right, like a long like wasn't hair, but it, yeah. It, I first thing I did is I paused and I googled that shit. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Scream got to be real. Like this, yeah, the, real. this, this person is too. <clears throat> And apparently, what I saw, she hasn't even really been Mary Jane in the actual show. Like, she was never Mary Jane. Yeah, they, they kind of just threw that. At, do, do they needed the, that. So you th- you agree with that decision? Well, it, it fits in line with the story. A lot of the stuff that they were saying in here is not. Harry has never been Venom. Oh, uh, what's funny is I remember rumors that Harry might be Venom before the game came out because... Uh, there was rumors that Craven would be Venom, and I and I think Craven no. has been Venom in the past. Well, the suit has jumped onto a lot of people. That's stupid stories, that, you know, that they just tested in the waters. But the video game 2018 showed you Harry uh, locked up at the bottom. When you finished the game, you platinumed it. Yeah, you you know what's funny? <laughs> I when when uh, when you get stabbed, uh, right? Craven stabs you. I'm sitting here like. You know, Mary Jane's trying to help you. And I'm just noticing the ass whooping that Craven is hand getting handed by Harry. Like yeah. every time you pop up, Harry just pops up and it looks like they give you like half a second 
where Craven looks like he's standing in his own, and Harry just like does a somersault, just beats the shit. Out of his <laughs> he's like boom, boom, bang, bang, boom, 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 and then jump off the screen. And, and I say, here, look at him, like Harry could have ended this, like right yeah. here, like. Yeah, definitely could have. But remember also, at that time, he was still Harry. That's the time when he was Agent Venom. So there's right? a difference. It, it, what, right. That's when Flash between, That's when Flash Thompson was Venom. What's the difference between Agent Venom and Venom and Dark Suit and the Suit Venom? Like... Just plot points. Um, Agent Venom is... it just is, depending on who has him? Who well, yeah. Him? It's Listen, Flash Thompson had the suit. Flash Thompson had gotten into a car accident. He was crippled. He put the suit on. He was able to walk and stuff like that. And he was working for S.H.I.E.L.D. So he became Agent Venom. Okay. Um, does Venom, like, to... That suit even matched Agent Venom suit. Does Venom ever... That's what I'm looking for. Does he ever have the same connection that he has with Peter, with anyone else? Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock. Is that he like died. the main he, host? He died. Yeah, he died for Eddie. Oh, he died for Eddie? Yeah. He he sacrificed himself to save Eddie. He went in fire, and fire kills him, but he went through fire to save Eddie. Okay. Because what I like about this is, like, even though I don't know nothing about, like, a lot of the Spider-Man universe, I like how they showed Craven in a very strong way. Like, oh my God! Like Craven, I, that, every oof. time Cra Craven, you could argue that Venom was definitely like one of the stars of the show, but I feel like Craven did his thing in this game. Like every Craven time Craven killed showed up, Spider Man. Yeah, every time Craven showed up, I was like, "Yo, yo!" <laughs> yeah, like he let his minions to go do his thing, and then. When Craven enters the scene, like and he's getting his hunt on, you you saw the remnants of how he killed uh characters, you know, um how he killed the vulture, how he killed uh this guy. Uh when he got Scorpion. It showed killing Scorpion. And Scorpion stung him and he took the toxin head on, a full blast of toxin straight to his shoulder, and you saw the toxin running through his body. And he just, he still uh, broke it off and then stuck it inside and, and, and killed uh, Scorpion. I was like, cold-blooded. This is the Craven that if you read Craven's Last Hunt, this is the, the brutality and, and wherewithal Craven brings. Craven is, is the human peak of a hunter. He he has uh, animalistic type senses on, on on par with Wolverine, uh, where he can smell, taste, and track any animal on the face of this planet, it, be it in air, water, or land. Uh, Craven has agile reflexes uh, like a cat, like a panther. Uh, he has the striking ability of a a, a king cobra. Um, he is he is the best hunter that you know the marvel universe has seen and and to do that without any powers and to to achieve the level of uh notoriety that he does have because remember he's as rich as batman and as vicious as batman batman and can be kill people <laughs> yes that's the difference between him and batman you know, he, he's willing to, well, he's a hunter. He mounts and kills. This is what he does. And he was always in search of his greatest hunt. And so when we when, when the game is playing and he saw Venom, or he saw the symbiote when Harry was fighting him, and all he could say was beautiful, amazing, uh, gold, because you, you're holding back, you're holding back. That's when he was Agent Venom. Until he, he got a chance to experience Venom when the symbiote was actually taking over. That's when Craven was at his best because, you know, Craven was suffering from cancer. He didn't want to die a normal death like a regular, you know, uh, peasant, how he saw it. He wanted to go out in glorious battle at the hands of his, of his greatest foe. You, if you notice, like, 
because if you do some of the uh, side content, which you did all of it, some right. of the su- I realized that Craven's doing all this against his whole family's will. Oh no! Well, the thing with his family is he raised them in um an alpha wolf type environment where the alpha is always being challenged by his pups, right? So his kids. And he has, uh, I believe Craven has seven kids. I believe he has seven kids, seven boys. And then I think he has one girl. I think there's one girl. I had stopped reading at that period of time. But after Craven is dead, because he dies in the books, his kids go out to try to fill his shoes. And it's one kid that goes and systematically starts to kill all the other ones so it can only be one, like the Highlanders. Oh my god! Just, just kill it, everyone. Just to kill everyone. Just kill his brothers. Kill his brothers. Like it's, it's that deep. Where that's why he was telling his kid and his one kid, like if you do a couple of the missions, like he's like, Dad, come back, you protect me. He said, like, You're too weak. Go run and hide. You know, like the coward that you are. You know. He's, and then the other son was like, Um, why didn't you take me with you? Oh, he was afraid that I will outshine you. He said, like, you can ever do that. You know, that's why I left you, because you're more of a liability and a hindrance. Uh, you know, so it's it's you you hear the bickering in the background and the family feud. And then the wife is telling him come back home because his chemotherapy or whatever he was taking for the cancer has run its course. And he said, we are done. We, we you know, our He's life together is over. Yeah, well, no, he already saw... I'm going to die at the hands of this beast because this beast is going to kill me. He knew Spider-Man wouldn't have the gumption to kill. And he knew Harry didn't have the gumption to kill. Mm-hmm. But when he, he knew, it, did, did you, were you surprised when he showed up when Venom was his own, his own person at that point? Or did you think he was already dead at that point? No, no, I know he was alive. Yeah. Okay. I, I know. I knew that I knew you had to have that battle. All right. We got to talk about this because this is the highlight of the game to me. Okay. And what do you think I'm about to say? When he bite his head off? No. Oh. The Spider-Man symbiote suit versus Peter. No, oh, but versus Miles. The anti-venom? <laughs> yeah. No, Miles versus the black suit. Oh, okay. I, oh, I, oh. I think, Miles clink kicked his ass. <laughs> yeah. And what's funny is like the stuff Peter's saying to him. He's like, he's like. Who are you without me? You can't even do basic stuff pretty much. Like, <laughs> the, the, the stuff that the suit says when they're fighting or they're in conflict is crazy. Like the banter in between individuals, I would have loved to be in a fly on a wall in those rooms where they were recording the voice acting going back and forth. The I loved all the banter. I did. Um, all right. I liked when you were... What I liked is like C and J and J, whatever that dude is, and, and, and seeing the the podcast talk, and they're right. always like, she's kind of like in the middle, uh, you know, for Spider Man against you know, Spider Man, and J and J just hates his ass. Like, all right, so James is- Jonah Jameson, J J J, James Jonah Jameson, he represents the old, right? And she he represents he, the new, and she represents the new. If you if you watch this game, this game was a tale of dualities where you had Miles represented the new and Peter represented the old. And you had that dichotomy there that was, remember, Miles had his two friends, which was uh, Genki and Haley, and Peter had Harry and Mary Jane. Mm-hmm. You see, they all had, uh, it was just duality. It was old versus new. It was both games brought together. Even when you were fl- uh, swinging through the city, Miles had his own type of music, and Spider-Man had his own type of music. So, and Miles swung faster than Spider-Man. Obviously, since we're talking about old versus new, at the end of the game, they pretty much passed the torch. Uh, for, for Oh, yeah, of course. For right now. I do think Peter will be back, but I do think they're probably going to do like, an independent Miles game at this point because it kind of well, like Miles is old uh uh a game solo and yeah. then they can bring it back again. Yeah. So how did you feel they handled that passing the torch? Do you think that was a good pass the torch or there was no other way other to do it, you know, um how he did it. 
you know, he wants to build the foundation back now that, you know, Harry is uh, where Harry is uh, because they never finished that. You know, Harry is back in the back to tank. So you think you think Harry will be back? Probably as the hobgoblin. Yeah, I kind of saw that. I kind of think his dad's going to be the hobgoblin. Well, no, his dad is going to be Green Goblin. Oh, okay. Norman Osborn is the Green Goblin. He's going to take the. Remember when he was sitting at the computer. My, do you think Miles will end up fighting the Green Goblin and not yeah. and not Spider Man? Well, it'd be Miles first because he made Miles promise. Remember, he said, Miles, promise me. He said, I'll promise you I'll take care of your son. Remember, he said, what did y'all do? And that's when they started referring to him as Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. You know, the, you know, the Spider-Man, the Spider-Man. So he's equal to blame because he saw Miles and Peter at the same time there, you know, uh, when uh, they was putting Harry inside the ambulance. But if you notice, and they, they give you a whole bunch of hints, from that point on, Norman Osborn was wearing green. Yeah, actually, you think you, you saying that? I, 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 I just now noticed that he was wearing green mm-hmm. the majority of the end part of the game. Um, yep. When he went to go see uh, Octavius and on on a raft, mm-hmm. and he even said, "Get the get the serum ready." Like, yeah, he, uh, they, they're clearly screaming where this is going well I, when he was sitting at the computer he had they he said get the g serum that's the goblin serum now i don't know which goblin they, they're gonna go with i don't know if they're gonna go with the traditional uh green goblin where he's on the glider and the stuff like that or if they're gonna go with the goblin from ultimate universe because they're using two different kind of spiders and they they're pulling from both type of stories here you know um aunt may is dead at this point in time in the comic books Aunt May didn't die well she did and he brought her back because he made that one wish and all type of stuff um where he he, he did that with Miss Fisto so it's, it's a whole bunch of stuff there so we got to close this up because I got the attic show in like 20 minutes no problem um, that. what let, let, let's put you on the spot what is some things that you feel like they can improve on going forward De- definitely don't use the Haley missions don't use the um the, yeah, what you will call it? The, uh, the what's Mary the, Jane missions. Mary Jane's missions. And, and I actually, in some ways, I feel like they they did better by making her like her sections more action orientated. But right. I think in terms of lore wise, they kind of spit in the lore's face a little bit, where it's like she's actually handling people better than the Spider Man handle people. Like she's is like, that because she's you? not holding like, back or? You know, because she, you know, she's weak and she's not holding back, and Peter's holding back, and and Miles is holding back. I don't know. I thought they were stupid. I thought they were redundant. I thought they was not necessary. But I can see them as side missions. Mm-hmm. You know, if you use side missions, because don't the, do I, main missions. Like yeah, don't yeah, don't. I mean, a Haley mission is a side mission. Can, so I did the Haley mission. You can skip the puzzles in this game. Do you think they should have gave the option to skip those two? No. Okay. So do the puzzles. No, I'm talking about they give you the option to skip the puzzles. Do you think no, I mean, they they, no, gave don't you the they, option to skip they, no, don't, their don't sections? Give, no, well, don't. I mean, I say don't put them in a the game. Uh, <laughs> I don't I want feel, them in a game I at feel, all. I, I, I feel like, you know, we want to play as a superhero. It don't have right. to be Spider-Man. Like, obviously, you know, it would be cool is if they – make like a dlc where well, they're going to uh, probably something like more maybe green goblin will be in there and nah, like, i don't think so well it, it would be cool if like you play a chapter as like wolverine right before wolverine comes out like i don't think so i think okay so what i think the dlc is going to be i think the dlc is going to lean into the little girl that came to harry's house that his um that's mom another is, spider-man right 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 that's silk it, it, apparently because uh, i looked it up silk his bit was bit by the same spider that bit Peter. Right. The same type of spider. Yeah. But, right, but so. she, it mutated her a little bit differently. Like she has like a super spider sense. Like Yeah, yeah. So Silk Silk is dope. Oh, the, the fact that they did that. And I think you're gonna get more Rafe. You're gonna get more of Rafe and you're gonna probably get the Cletus Cassidy uh DLC and do, Carnage. Do you think the next Spider Man is gonna have three all three of them in it? Silk, no, I think. Or you think Spider Man's gone? I think Spider Man are gonna put him on the back burner. He'll come to save the day later when uh, Miles and Silk gets into too much trouble. But I think they really want to make a Silk game. 
I think Silk is next, and then you'll probably get Spider Gwen at some point in time. That'd be cool. Well, that's uh, the only thing I would actually say is like you know improve a little bit on on the side missions. I, I it's just they didn't feel grand enough for me, man. I felt like I just repeat and doing the same. No, thing because you didn't again. build up to them after you get to the like the last main. But I don't one on the, the side. I don't have to do a bunch of repeat activities to be rewarded at the end. I they should you. have been built up between these repeat activities to make me want to know what the hell is at the end. And that that's that that's my only real, you know, feedback that and, you know, definitely take the Mary Jane stuff out. I get it. There's a lot of people that love that kind of gameplay, but, you know, build up characters that people want to play. You want to play as a superhero. Uh, Silk's coming in. You can play as her, right? Like, there's plenty of people where we don't have to play someone that has a stun gun. Like, yeah, this is true. <laughs> like Cat, no, actually, before we load that Catwoman mission was lit. That was the best like mission in the game. Well, like, then you should have played the DLC in Spider Man. I like the, the 2018 thing. That's what I like. That that well, portal you thing was crazy. Like, you would you would really like her missions, you know, with Hammerhead and all that other stuff. Uh, a, it, that that was a really good story. That's what made me really love it even more. The the maturity that was inside 2018. I thought the maturity was more so in the 2018 one. Yeah, and uh, here recently, Sony has definitely been pulling back on on, on the maturity kind of things and. It's kind of disappointing, but that's a conversation for a different time. But all right, you know, that's pr that's the Spider Man Two spoiler cast. We went on for what almost fifty minutes, almost an hour. It's about what we expected. Yeah, uh, you know, definitely tune in for the Mario one. We'll probably try to do that sometime next week. Um, I gotta get I gotta get on it because right yeah. now I was trying to play Alan Wake Two. <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing that. Uh, I know, so I know, I know. You, someone else can do that with you. Uh, so you know, I do that with solve. Yeah, so we'll do that. Uh, I do. We do need to get back on R and R. Uh, I think we're gonna evolve R and R to something different, guys. You know, I actually just watched Five Nights at Freddy. I don't know when King's gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch Five Nights with Freddy tonight. Um, I saw Jace. I saw uh Michael Myers Halloween the End last night. Okay, you know, and we 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 might just start doing five uh doing um R and R on individual things like maybe a whole season or something once the whole sh seasons came out then we'll do individual videos on individual topics and plus i think if we do want to you know continue the r&r &R channel it'd be easier in that direction anyway so yep. I, I appreciate everyone coming through uh you know i hope you guys enjoyed this uh definitely catch us this sunday king gonna be messy man he gonna be real messy this Sunday. yeah man rome is burning baby <laughs> rome is burning yeah and i gotta Go literally from this and go straight to the attic show. <laughs> Have fun, bro. See you guys. Peace.